Carol, I'd like to talk to you, despite knowing absolutely nothing about it, mm -hmm. life on exoplanets. Well, this is really a very exciting time to be alive. Excite me. Yeah, well, when I was very young, I remember watching Star Trek, as we all did, or those of us who, yes, those of us who ended up here. And I think for a long time, it seemed as though that was sort of a fantasy, that it wasn't at all clear that there were planets around stars other than the sun. Our own solar system could have been completely unique. Um, and one of the really exciting things that's happened in the last 20 years is that we're finding out that actually there's an awful lot of planets in the galaxy. There's probably actually more planets than stars in the galaxy. And it also seems that a lot of those planets are rocky planets that you could walk around on. And the more we find out, the more it seems like the galaxy we actually live in are similar, similar to the galaxy in Star Trek, which, you know, is quite exciting and really raises, you know, raises the probability for life elsewhere in our galaxy to values that are far higher than anybody would have guessed when I was a kid. Is this your job? Yes. <laughs> Do you wake up going, this is my job? <laughs> Yeah, there are also days when you wake up thinking, <laughs> I've got some forms to fill in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough, yeah. And the grand scheme of things, i.e. finding life mm. um, outside of the life that we know so well mm. on Earth, what, what is the chance of that? Well, it's, yeah, it's hard to say that, because all we know for certain is that there's life here on Earth. But certainly, I think it's very likely that there are habitats that are conducive to life, or that you know, at least are consistent with the presence of life throughout the galaxy. And it looks as though life actually arose on Earth really quite early in the Earth's history. So from that point of view, it seems quite likely that once you set things up so that you've got liquid water, you know, a temperature that's sort of consistent with, with liquid water and a lack of, you know, a lot of um, very um, dangerous radiation that might destroy life, it seems like it's quite likely that life might arise. Um, the, the, the one thing that's sort of slightly pessimistic from the Star Trek scenario where Captain Kirk and his buddies go landing on planets and meet people who look very much like themselves is that it looks as though complex life arose very late on the Earth. So that possibly is not very likely. And it may be that there was some very special confluence of circumstances that was required for complex life. So there could be, you know, sort of like slime throughout the galaxy that's alive, but there might not be, you know, people that we can talk mm. to like Captain Kirk did. It is hard to shake hands with a gelatinous blob, I suppose, no matter how smart. We, but I don't know. People will say that we have been visited. Mm. Many people. I've, yes. I've, I've looked at certain parts of the internet where people yes. are pretty convinced. Yes. Your thoughts? <sighs> I think that the most likely scenario is that we evolved here by ourselves. But, yeah, I've read some of those books. Books, you see, that's where mm. it comes from, not the internet all the time. Mm.